bicep. You can go down here. All right, he begins the movement with that muscle. He squeezes the bicep and it causes the dumbbell to come up. So, all right, let's talk about how to lift properly. As we get into 2019 and you start working out, the big question is, am I doing this right? And so I, I wanna share with you a template for what we use with our clients. It's called the SSI template. It stands for set up, stabilize, and isolate. So one of the, the exercises we see a lot of people doing as they begin training, and for good reason, are bicep curls. So we're gonna use the bicep curl as an example. My name is Mark. I'm gonna be going through all this. This is, this is Kyle. Kyle's one of our trainers. He's gonna demonstrate all, this, uh, all of these exercises here. First off, with the bicep curl, how, how are you going to do it correctly? Number one is we start with the setup. Obviously, we want to train the bicep, which is the front of the arm here, from the, the shoulder down to the elbow. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're standing nice and tall and we're uh, in a good posture with the shoulders rolled back and everything's uh, straight up and down. There's no like weird bend in the hips. He's not kind of in this staggered stance. Really, the focus should only be on this muscle, so everything else is just in his best stance. Really, what we want to do is we want to make sure that all of this stress is simply on the bicep, okay? And this is where stabilize comes in. As the weight begins getting heavier, it's, your body wants to default to the, essentially the most efficient way to lift, making it very easy for the bicep. So that's when we start seeing like, you know, people leaning back or the elbows coming up. And what happens is, is all the pressure now goes away from the bicep, goes onto the shoulder, maybe down to the hips, essentially goes everywhere but the bicep. And as you say, it's kind of hard to grow your bicep when you're not using your bicep. So for Kyle, what we're really focusing on is particularly the shoulder blades. We want to make sure that the shoulder blades stay completely locked in and stabilized. The elbow stays locked in and stabilized. And then essentially the as the dumbbell moves, it's only the bicep. And that leads us to the last little bit, the um, initiate. Let's do a couple of reps here. When Kyle is curling, all the movement needs to come from the bicep. You can go down here. All right, he begins the movement with that muscle. He squeezes the bicep and it causes the dumbbell to come up. So let's say Kyle is coaching somebody and he's watching them. Let's, let's, kind, of, let's kind of throw some shoulder in there. Okay. So if we start to see these rainbow movements here, we can come back down. Really what that's indicating to us is the, is the weight is too heavy. It's not able to initiate the movement with the bicep or maintain movement with only the bicep. It becomes half bicep, half shoulder. Maybe there's a little hip involved. And that's a great indication of, okay, we can't maintain our mechanics. We've got to drop down the weight so that all the focus is on the bicep. So as you begin to train, right? Uh, use this framework to help make sure that you're lifting properly.